Learning to code is definitely really, really hard. Look, when I was in your shoes, I was looking for all the possibilities for me to learn code so much more faster than anyone else. And over the years after, I mentor so many beginners to land their first programmer jobs, I've came to a realization that one of this trick that I should probably share with you guys, how you could exactly learn a little bit faster when it comes to learning to program. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software engineer working in New York City. If you are currently looking for a way to learn how to code, or learning more about web development or all things related to tech, you can find all of that kind of information in this channel. Okay, let's jump into the topic, shall we? By no means I would say that learning to code is easy. It's definitely not easy. It's actually really hard. No matter what people are trying to tell you, that's an easy task. It isn't. One of the things that I do want to focus on is self-awareness when it comes to learning to code. I think that it's extremely important for you to understand what works the best for you when it comes to learning. For instance, some people might learn better when it comes to reading words or instructions. Some people might learn better when they are looking at a diagram, more of a visual learning method. And others might learn better when they are actually working on the actual problem. So when I was learning call stacks in JavaScript, I had a really hard time to understand how call stack works. So one thing that I did is actually looking through diagrams and pictures of how JavaScript call stack really works. And I think that one of the, the tutorial that I find on YouTube and some of the diagrams that I find that really helped me to understand that concept. And that's probably one of the biggest tips that I can give you is to leverage that visualizations and visuals to help you to better understanding some of the really difficult concepts in computer science. You can think of a lot of the problems and how you can solve the problems in your head. You can think of a lot of the abstract concepts in your head, but that requires a lot of your brain power. That requires a lot of thinking and visualizations in your head. Instead of doing that, if you could like actually, you know, present that on a piece of paper or somewhere else and you can actually see it, it helps to lift up that kind of heavy thinking in your head so much more easier to comprehend. So you might wonder, Vicky, when and how do I know that this is the time for me to really find a way to visualizing this problem? And to be honest with you, when you run into a problem or when you are looking into a solution in programming, and if you see yourself like using a lot of steps like in your head and you can't really think straight and it, it just makes you like very confused and disorganized and that that is probably the time when you really should look through you know books or the internet to try to look for a way to visualizing your problem and even just like grabbing a piece of paper or just using your iPad to really draw everything out that helps a lot one of the resources that helped me to understand algorithms and data structures I use this book it's a illustrations on all these very difficult computer science concepts. So I am going to link this book down in the description down below so you guys can check it out. I would highly recommend to check out a lot of my Udemy courses, recommendations, video on YouTube over here. Go click on some of these and check them out. And until next time, I would talk to you soon. Bye.